Welcome to the Living Well Insights YouTube channel. Today, we delve into a critical health issue, heart disease. This silent killer is more prevalent than you might think, affecting millions of people worldwide. According to the American Heart Association, over a third of adults suffer from some form of heart disease. That's a staggering number, and the impact, it's colossal. Heart disease accounts for 31% of global deaths. Now you might be wondering what exactly we mean when we say heart disease. It's a broad term, encompassing a variety of conditions. These range from heart failure, where the heart struggles to pump blood effectively, to coronary artery disease, where the arteries supplying blood to the heart become narrowed. Other conditions under this umbrella include arrhythmias, irregular heart rhythms that can affect the heart's ability to pump blood effectively. The fact is, our hearts are hardworking machines. They pump blood to every corner of our bodies, supplying the oxygen and nutrients we need to function. But like any machine, they can face problems, and when they do, it's often without warning. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention report that half of the people who die from coronary heart disease didn't even know they had it, simply because they had no symptoms. That's a frightening statistic, isn't it? It underscores the importance of understanding heart disease, being alert to its early signs and knowing the risk factors. Because the truth is, while heart disease can strike without warning, there are often signs and risk factors that we can watch out for. Heart disease often goes undetected until it's too late. This makes understanding its early signs and risk factors essential. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the risk factors for heart disease in our next segment. Remember, knowledge is power, and in this case it might just save a life. Risk factors for heart disease range from genetics to lifestyle choices. Our age plays a significant role in our risk for heart disease. As we grow older, our risk naturally increases. This is because our heart and blood vessels undergo changes as we age, making them less flexible, which in turn can lead to health issues. Gender also matters. Studies have shown that men are generally at a higher risk of developing heart disease. However, after menopause, a woman's risk increases, catching up to the risk level of men. Family history is another key factor. If your parents or siblings had heart disease, particularly at a young age, your risk is higher. This is due to the combination of genes that we inherit, which can influence our vulnerability to certain health conditions. Smoking is a significant risk factor. The nicotine and carbon monoxide in cigarettes can damage your blood vessels, leading to heart disease. This is why quitting smoking can greatly reduce your risk. The food we eat matters too. A diet high in fat, salt, sugar and cholesterol can contribute to heart disease. On the flip side, a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains and lean proteins can help protect your heart. High blood pressure and high cholesterol are silent killers. They can harden and thicken your arteries, making it harder for blood to flow through them. This can lead to a heart attack or stroke. If you have diabetes, you also have a higher risk of heart disease. This is because diabetes and heart disease share similar risk factors, including high blood pressure and high cholesterol. Carrying extra weight puts additional stress on the heart. Obesity is linked with high cholesterol, high blood pressure and diabetes, all of which can worsen heart disease and atherosclerosis, a condition characterized by the hardening of the arteries. Physical inactivity is another risk factor. Regular exercise helps keep the heart and blood vessels healthy. It can help lower high blood pressure and high cholesterol and manage diabetes. Lastly, stress can take a toll on your heart. Chronic stress can damage blood vessels and lead to heart disease. It's important to find healthy ways to cope with stress, such as through relaxation techniques, physical activity, or talking with a healthcare professional. These factors, combined or alone, can significantly increase your risk of heart disease. For instance, if you have both diabetes and high blood pressure, your risk significantly rises. But the good news is, many of these risk factors are within our control. By making healthier lifestyle choices, we can significantly lower our risk. Knowing these risk factors can help us make informed decisions to keep our hearts healthy. Recognizing the early signs of heart disease can be life-saving. Let's delve into what these early signs might look like. It's important to remember that these symptoms can vary from person to person, and some may not experience any symptoms at all until a significant heart event like a heart attack or stroke occurs. However, being aware of the possible symptoms can help you act quickly and seek medical attention when necessary. 
one of the early signs of heart disease, can be heart arrhythmias. These are irregular heartbeats that may feel like a fluttering or racing heart. You might feel as if your heart is skipping beats or beating too hard. In some cases, these arrhythmias can cause chest pain or discomfort, which may feel like pressure, squeezing, fullness or pain in the centre of your chest. Another sign can be shortness of breath, especially during moderate physical exertion. If you find yourself gasping for air after climbing a flight of stairs or walking a short distance, it might be a sign of an underlying heart condition. Chest discomfort is another common symptom. Some people describe this as a squeezing sensation or a feeling of fullness in the chest. This discomfort can last anywhere from 30 minutes to a few hours. It's crucial to note that chest discomfort related to heart disease often comes and goes rather than being constant. Unexplained pain in the upper torso, neck and jaw can also be an early sign of heart disease. This pain can be intermittent and might increase with physical exertion or emotional stress. An abnormal heartbeat, also known as palpitations, can be another sign. You might feel as if your heart is beating too fast, too slow, or that it's skipping beats. You might also experience episodes of dizziness or fainting. This can occur because your heart is not able to pump enough blood to your brain. Lastly, tingling, numbness, coldness or weakness in the hands and feet can also be a symptom. This happens because the heart is not able to pump enough oxygen-rich blood to your extremities. These symptoms can indicate problems with your blood vessels, making it harder for your heart to pump oxygen. If you or someone you know is experiencing these symptoms, it's essential to seek medical attention immediately. Remember, early detection and treatment can significantly improve the outcome in heart disease. In our next scene, we'll discuss the prevention and management of heart disease. Stay tuned to learn more about how you can take steps to protect your heart and live a healthier life. Prevention is better than cure, especially when it comes to heart disease. Now that we've discussed the risk factors and early signs of heart disease, let's turn our attention to prevention and management strategies. The first and arguably most important strategy is to maintain a healthy lifestyle. This includes a balanced diet, regular exercise, limited alcohol consumption, and avoiding smoking. Healthy eating habits can help control your blood pressure, cholesterol levels and weight, all key factors in heart health. Aim for a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, lean proteins and whole grains, while limiting saturated and trans fats, salt and added sugars. Regular physical activity is also vital. The American Heart Association recommends at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic activity or 75 minutes of vigorous activity per week. Regular exercise lowers your blood pressure, strengthens your heart and cardiovascular system, and helps maintain a healthy weight. Next, it's important to manage stress. Chronic stress can lead to high blood pressure and other heart-related conditions. It's crucial to find healthy ways to cope with stress, such as practicing mindfulness, meditation or yoga, spending time in nature, or engaging in hobbies and activities you enjoy. Regular health checkups are also fundamental to heart disease prevention. Regular screenings can identify risk factors like high blood pressure, high cholesterol and diabetes early, allowing you to take action and prevent heart disease development. It's also important to monitor your weight, as obesity is a significant risk factor for heart disease. If you already have heart disease or are at high risk, your doctor may recommend medication to control your blood pressure, cholesterol levels or diabetes. These medications can significantly reduce your risk of a heart attack or stroke, but they should be used in conjunction with lifestyle changes, not as a replacement. Additionally, if you've been diagnosed with heart disease, it's crucial to manage your condition properly. This involves following your treatment plan, taking prescribed medications, and working closely with your healthcare team. Regular follow-up visits are essential to monitor your condition and adjust your treatment as needed. Moreover, it's important to remember that heart disease can affect anyone, regardless of age, gender, or ethnic background. Therefore, everyone should take steps to maintain heart health. It's never too late to start, and even small changes can make a big difference. To wrap up, remember that heart disease is largely preventable. By adopting a healthy lifestyle, managing stress, getting regular checkups, and following prescribed treatments, you can significantly reduce your risk and improve your overall heart health. Prevention and early detection are our best defences against heart disease. So, 
Let's take care of our hearts, for they are the powerful engines that keep us alive and kicking. Whether you're at risk, already diagnosed, or just want to maintain a healthy heart, remember, every beat counts. Heart disease is a formidable enemy, but with knowledge and proactive measures, we can fight back. Today, we've delved into the complex world of heart disease, its risk factors, and its early signs. We've learned that heart disease is not just one condition, but a collection of issues that can affect our most vital organ. Age, gender, family history, lifestyle choices, and even stress can play pivotal roles in our heart health. And while some symptoms are subtle, others, like chest discomfort or shortness of breath, are more noticeable. But remember, knowledge is power. By being aware and vigilant, we can catch these symptoms early and seek medical help promptly. Prevention and early detection are our best weapons against this global health concern. Thank you for joining us today. For more insights on living well, subscribe to our channel and share this video with your loved ones. Remember, a healthy heart is a happy heart.